this is on him. He should have already had multiple baths. He eats certain colors. You know, he has sensory processing. He he loves his hot fries. He loves his pizzas. He and it's got to be bacon pepperoni. He loves his chicken patty. Certain kind of chicken patty. I mean, this isn't his nature at all. Okay. And you know, my parents were like, "Oh, just stay, stay positive, stay positive." But me as a mom, this is starting to get too real. Okay. This isn't him. I, he's a mama's boy. I mean, through and through, he's a mama's boy. He loves to give him hugs, you know? And then he just saw his niece who he hadn't seen in two years on Thursday night. So it was like, he saw her, Julie, who was there helping me to get the house ready for my niece to come over. He, you know, they were talking and stuff and he never goes with us to um, our friend's house on Sunday because he likes to stay home, hang with his friends, watch his games, you know, he loves football, he, he's a big commentator. And Julie said, are you gonna grace us with your presents this time? You know, and he's like, well, there's presents, you know, and then she talked about putting an Xbox in her room because from the last time the police were at our house when he attacked his dad, that's when we told the police, okay, take the Xbox box, let him think you're throwing it away. We never gave it back to him. So he's just about gaming. This boy still plays with wrestlers in the tub. You know, he, he's, he's very smart. I mean, we just went to the doctor on November 10th because of his behaviors. And even then she's like, Carly, you need to get everything in line. You know, she knows him. She's been seeing him for years. He, he's just, he's so routine. This is not like him. How long has he been like that? What? Been real routine, been everything. You know. Since he was like five. Um, when he used to have, uh, what do they call it? Head Start come to the house. He Everything had to be lined up. Everything had to be stacked. You know, I mean, he, he just, he, he has a certain ways. He only plays with certain things. He'll play with a group of uh, monster trucks then play with a group of wrestlers. And even at this age, it's only gaming. Everything's gaming. When he didn't have his game system, he was on his phone playing games. He would be on with James or whoever the other people are that he talked to. Um, and then I found out he was going back to Daniel and James's house, or Daniel and Junior's house. And I wasn't happy because I don't like Daniel Copel. Um, I've gone there a couple times, she's hit Harley. You know, and it's like, I think she, listens to what he would say oh they're not giving me what i want they're not feeding me but that's because we're trying to get him to eat his foods he needs to eat regular foods he was just on a football team all summer now you have to understand i have a bad memory right now because i don't know if you've seen what happened to me we're mm -hmm. from over by the youngstown yeah. i don't know anything okay. about any of this so please inform us um, February 18th, I think it is, I died eight times and was frozen and put in a coma for 25 days. I was in the hospital. So my parents came and they changed the routine and changed things and he didn't like that. He, he wasn't happy about that. But then my parents left. I have hypoxia, so sometimes I have a hard time remembering things, you know, and for him, he he was he even put a video, you know, I haven't been online because something bad happened, my mom got sick, you know. So he is definitely a mama's boy. And this is just so not him. And I just I I keep going over in my I can't think why he would run. Seriously. I can't. There, there's no indication. He, 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 if he was running, then why was he planning on going with us when he normally don't? Okay? Mm -hmm. It's just the routines. I keep going back to the routines. It's not him. Even if he gets mad at me or his dad or his brother or, you know, anything, school, he will sit there and he will literally just go away, calm down, and come back. He, he, it's just his nature, you know? I, I just, I, I don't understand. I seriously do not understand. 
Can you walk us through your week, maybe? Maybe there's something that triggered something, or somebody you said, Should maybe you need to talk to. All I can remember, where do you remember from? How about that? Start with where is easy for you. I know Sunday, no, Saturday, he asked me for a pair of leggings for his then girlfriend, Tessa. I asked what size, you know, trying to get information. And he said, well, probably the smallest. And I said, well, you wear one size because he wears my leggings. And um, I, he goes, do you still have the Pepsi ones? And I said, yes. Yeah. So I gave him the Pepsi ones. Then he told us he was supposed to go to a birthday party on Sunday because we go and do the auction every Sunday at family dinner. And he, he was home. And I'm like, I thought you had a birthday party to go to. Mm -hmm. She broke up with me. I'm like, oh, jeez, here we go. You know, I know this is going to start something. Because he, he doesn't just take things well. Did he tell you what happened? No. Did you get into that with him? No. He didn't tell no. me anything. I don't know. Okay. He, he doesn't open up like that. You know, he's 14 years old. He, he, to start with. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he, he, boy, yeah. I mean... <sighs> How long was he with Tessa? I couldn't even tell you. Because before I found out about Tessa, he was trying to get back with his ex Abby. So, and even asked me to take him to the movies, and Abby's dad said, he's nothing but a crybaby, I don't want him with my daughter. So, it, it, I don't, he was supposed to be going to the movies that one, I couldn't even tell you what day it was, but it was a Wednesday, and we found him walking with another girl and that's when he said later that evening that, that was Tessa, his new girlfriend. So I, I don't know time, you know. Okay. Um, Do you remember when the breakup was? Do you remember when the Leggins inc incident happened? Like when was the Leggins? Sunday was, he, he was supposed to go to the party. That's when they broke up. Like the 15th Sunday, not this past Probably, week, yeah, the one Sunday prior. Before he right. Okay, okay, got right. it, got okay. it. Um, and then I do know that on Monday was his choir concert because his dad went. I stayed home with Rory. And then um, Wednesday I had my Laking show. I mean, this is how much I can remember. No, it's okay. Um, right. And he was in my video on the Laking show. He, he said hi to everybody, you know, because that's how he is. Huh? Yeah. Did you do LuLaRoe? No, I have my own business. I have my own business. Oh, very good. Um, well, after I got out of the hospital, I felt I needed to do something to help. There were a lot of medical bills. Oh, man. And on top of that, if something happened to me again, I wanted them to have something. Sure. You know? I don't want to be just the mom that was sick. Because when the incident happened with Marcus, I couldn't do anything to help. Because I'm so afraid to die again myself that I, you know... We don't, we don't know what the incident with Marcus is, by the way. Oh, um, Harley wouldn't get off his game system. And Harley kind of was, like, addicted to it, if you could think of it like that, a drug, okay. because he had to be on it. You're ruining my life. I need my game system, you know. Well, when you take that away from him and you try to take the wires off, he puts his arms around you and he tries to pull everything away. He gets in your face. He blocks the door. The police had to come. He shut the power off to the house, everything. So, and I wasn't even home when this all started. This continued when I got home. So, um, but he calmed down after the police talked to him. He didn't ask about the game system, you know. Um, because he still had a phone. But he also got in trouble at school. He um, got OSS for slapping a kid in school and he has assault charges. In fact, we just got the papers Saturday. I don't even know what day it is. Thursday, Christmas, Christmas. I want to say it was Monday or Tuesday. We got the papers that he's supposed to be at court on the 3rd. Um, and he never thought that he would get that. He, oh, they're not going to do anything. They didn't do anything. You know, so we kept telling him, no, you're going to end up in DH if you don't change your ways. So, but he don't believe it. He's just, he's not accepting that this is a consequence. 
because then he got in trouble after he went back from OSS. December 6th, he went back to school. Um, it was the next week. It was the next week sometime. He got in trouble again for kicking a boy in the balls. So in the principal said instead of making this an assault, they wanted to talk with Officer Vance and find out if, you know, because at middle school he was on a behavioral plan. He had to have outlets for his anger, for the way he handled things. Um, they haven't done that in high school yet. Well, no, they did have something because he, he had a two-hour uh, detention instead of another assault charge, as far as I know. I mean, we haven't gone to court, so I don't know. Okay. Um, but see, he had problems before in middle school. We had to get an attorney to keep him out um, of DH, and he went on probation, and had to go into counseling, and um, we went through this with our daughter, too. Um, as far as the week, Everything was fine. He, he wasn't yelling at me. He was getting along with his brother. He wasn't short with us. There, just nothing that happened with me, you know, that I could say that would even indicate, yes, I told him, you get your ass out of the house and go to school because it's the last day. Why, you know, why pull this? But, you know, if you talk to his doctor, we discuss the fact that he's always trying to get out of school. And I've gone to the principals and asked them, why doesn't he want to come to school? What is going on? And they said, well, he's had a pro couple problems. There was a kid he threw. One of the kids said something about they don't feel pain, and Harley said he had to check it out. You know, I don't remember what it was. He threw something, or he, he cut him somehow, not like slash or anything. Um, but see, Harley ch takes those challenges, you know, because he wants to prove people wrong. He's the first to say, no, you're wrong about something, and he'll prove it. But he is such a good writer. He, he he's just, he's pain in the ass, but he's a good kid. Seriously. He's a teenager. Yeah, he's my Harley, you know? Um, you said he's a big gamer. What, what does he play? What games does he play? Um, James told me that they play at his house Fortnite, and it's Onyx something is his name because I told James, I said, get on there, see if you see him, if he'll talk to you. Yeah. Um, but then I found out so many people have contacted me. People I've never even heard of their names say they know my son. And um, he goes on Roblox at the library. I was told. What's that? Roblox. Yeah. It's supposed to be for autistic kids. It's kind of like you build dimensions and stuff. So you would like build buildings and um, expand and almost like, I, I, I'm not a gamer. I, I seriously. I don't. Mario Kart, that's about my limit. Um, we don't play anything. So I'm it's so Roblox? R-O-B-L-O-X. Um, there's another one that somebody said, ma'am, um, ma'am, madam NFL. Mm -hmm. Oh, he loves football. He loves football. And that's why his uncle got mad that he never wanted to come on Sundays because they watch football yeah. and he's got a big TV, you know, but it's Harley. He's always been like this, you know, and the fact that I didn't call on Friday, Harley's pulled that where he's just needed to get away. Something was going on. Not necessarily us, not necessarily school. It could be a girl upset him, or it could just be, and when he had his phone, he would be like, oh, no, my phone died, so I didn't think about, you know, and I didn't feel, nor did my parents, that this was anything. We honestly thought, oh, it's the weekend. He's going to pull something. That's all it is. What got us was when we were out on Saturday and came home and he wasn't there at curfew. 
then it started feeling real. Something is wrong, you know? I, sorry, I try not to cry because I don't. Just relax, you can either yeah. take a break take or whatever, no. you just let us know. I can't explain how I just feel he did not run. Okay. Okay? It's not him. Anybody who knows him knows how he is. Do you think his gaming is more to play the games or is it more to socialize with other people? You know, like they use those Xbox. Honestly, he gets um, blacked where you get in trouble. Oh, yeah, you like blacklisted or whatever. Right? He gets that a lot from fighting with people. I've had to go in there and I've cussed him out getting him off the system. He just, he hardly speaks his mind, okay? He, oh God, how do you explain it? There's no filter. Yeah, and that yeah. becomes a real yeah. environment for yeah. people, yeah. you know? Yeah, he has no filter. That That's the best word. Yeah. He says what he has to say, and he don't care what you think, you know? He just... And that's what scares me, too, because I don't know if he talked to somebody. That's why I was asking James, please, see if he's been on. And he does, he wants to be famous. In fact, um, in his yearbook, he was voted to be a YouTuber. You know, he, he wants to be famous like that. He wants to, broadcasting. He, it was robotics, so we put him through college. He's been to kids' college every year. He's been to um, electrician school. He, anything to get him to learn to keep his interest. You know, when I was in college, he would sit down and listen with me. Of course, he was younger then, but the point being, this last, ever since what happened with me, I have not, I guess you could say, I have not been there as much as I could for him, as far as making sure, are you okay, kind of thing. But he'll come out, sit with me, cuddle, he'll grab the blanket, you know, he'll want to be with me. So. I didn't think, I don't ignore him. I offered to take him to movies. All those new movies that came out. I said, let's go see a movie. Come to the store with me to get away from his brother. Come on, four-year-old and 14-year-old. Mm -hmm. You know, he didn't want to. I offered him money to help me to go through my lighting business just to separate what came in. He didn't want to. He's all about the gaming and his friends. So when he's on, which game does he get like blacklisted from? Do you know? No. Okay. Ever since, um, I don't know what date that was that they took, or came in, and I had them pretend to take the Xbox. He has not had it since then. Okay. So whatever he played on was at other people's houses. And you said, what was it, Onyx? Onyx something. It's, it's on my phone, which is in the car. Okay. Um, and James Crow knows. Um, and then James has contacted me. He is so worried about Harley. Um, um, so you think his, his name has Onyx in it? Like his user Yeah, name? Onyx. Onyx something. We can get that, though. If you have it on your phone, that's how yeah, we Yeah, absolutely. Do. Absolutely. That's perfect. And you said his friends, there's two Jameses, right? No, there's with? James Jr. and Daniel. Okay. Jr. and Daniel are in the same home. And then there's James. I just recently found out more people. But see, when he was in football, he was talking to more people. You know, they were hanging out. They were going, he, um, lifted weights. They had weightlifting they had to do for football to prepare for. Mm -hmm. And he was all gung-ho. He, I mean, he was enjoying it. He, he even tried eggs. Oh, my God, this kid tried eggs. He wanted bacon. I said, then you have to eat an egg. You want to be in football? You want to be in sports? You need to do this. So proud of him. Oh, I put pictures up. I was so happy that he tried something new. And uh, then he decided he didn't want to be in football anymore all of a sudden. Like yeah. mid-season or before it started? Before it started. During weightlifting? Right when tackling started. And I'm like, okay. 
maybe you could talk to someone else. So then he became manager. They made a manager. He was in the paper for a year, everything. Because he liked that, huh? He liked it until, he, this is what he said, until nobody was praising him for doing stuff. You know, he wasn't getting any recognition before. It was, oh, you're a football player. Now you're just manager. You're getting towels. You're, you know, mm -hmm. you're running for things. But he also told us when school started that it was so cool that the high school, since he just started high school, that the older kids, the high schoolers, they were like, hey, Harley, how, you know. I knew him because of that. Right. Yeah. So okay. he felt comfortable with that. But did he have a problem with someone on the football team? Like, did he ever say, like a specific kid, something no. happened? No, not, not, no. In fact, I continued to volunteer with the, um, uh, uh, the fullbackers group and the football moms. I continued to volunteer. I like to help the community, you know? So, um, no, we were all gung ho. We, we were all for it, had car decals made. And then I even had showed everybody the decals and helped raise money for the football team. So, I mean, and then all of a sudden he was done with it. He never said anything else, never. Does he confide in anyone else other than you? He has TNT mentoring, um, but then I just found out when all this happened that he hasn't been to mentoring. I thought he was at mentoring after school on Friday, you know? Last Friday I knew it was detention. This Friday I thought he was with his mentor, but they said he hasn't been there for a couple weeks after school. So, it, he don't have, we tried. I have friends with older kids, you know, if you need to talk, especially the fact that he's a boy. Th there's got to be questions and things. He can't go to his dad for that stuff. His, his dad's not that kind of dad. He, um... Have you two been together all his life? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um... I've tried. I, I even, uh, Julie Bowman, we worked with her so much trying to get him into things. That's how we got him into the camps and stuff. He went away. Mo knows him really well, too. He, we volunteered to ring the bell um, with no money. We're not doing it, you know, how some people do it to get help to it because we were supposed to actually ring on Monday and Tuesday. I printed out, or not printed out, signed 96 Christmas cards to hand out. You know, because that's how we are. And this isn't him. Something is wrong. And they told us something happened Monday that he broke his phone or something. What happened Monday that the, something happened to his cell phone? Apparently, his phone was broke. We didn't know this. What okay. kind of phone does he have? Was that phone, anyway? They found the box. I'm trying to remember. I just see a green box. Um, yeah. Smartphone, flip phone. Oh, a smartphone. Okay. It's got to be a smartphone or he can't do his gaming and videos. Okay. Um, what do I, what do I have? I have, I have a Moto G Forge. He has a, a it starts with an F. with Cricket. Um, How did it my parents gave him the money for his birthday. Like the screen was broke or it just didn't work? What was he? The last we knew, he had a crack in the screen. Okay? When this incident happened, and I don't even remember what happened, he, he got, he, he said, I need a new phone or something came out. And then um, he showed me the phone. And I'm like, what happened? What did you do? I'm not replacing, you know, I can't keep replacing phones. And um, he went back in his room and I heard smash, you know, cause he's got um, a metal futon. So I heard just like something connecting mm -hmm. and he come back out and he goes, it's broke. Two pieces. This is your phone. I'm like, what do you mean it's my phone? I didn't even know he took my extra phone, you know? And then I said, give me the phone. No, I'm not giving you the phone. I said, give me the phone. No, I'm not giving you the phone. I said, give me the fucking phone. 
he said, oh, and he took the SIM, I don't care about the SIM card, just give me the phone. Set it right next to me, went to his room. I got up, got a bag, put the phone in it, marked down the date, because if anything happens, um, from the incident November 10th, when he went to the doctor, we decided he needed to get back into counseling, but she feels it's oppositional defined disorder, and she wanted to find someone that can work with that. So he has an appointment with Velasco and Associates in January. It's all set up. So I was kind of like documenting everything because between what's, what's going on at school and everything. And even when I was in there with Mr. Vance, I said, I don't know what's going on. You know, this isn't him. It, he just, the last incident where he kicked somebody in, in the balls, he told us that it was a girl that said he had to do it or she would get someone else to do it to him. And that was like, why would you listen to a girl kind of, you know what I mean? Yeah. But he's been bullied his whole life and his sister beat the shit out of him. So I don't, you know, he has PTSD from her. It's just, this isn't him. This. So he had your phone that he broke. My because, old phone. Because the screen on his was broke. Is what we're assuming. We okay. didn't know his was broke at all. Okay. Had I known it was broke, we have insurance. You know? But it's still $50. But his his uh, Chromebook's broke at school, too. You know? And they wanted me to give $100. I said, no, 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 no. It, it wasn't broke when he left. When we were at middle school, we had an agreement with the principal then. I'm sorry, I keep staring at her and there's no, eyes no, over no, here. No, 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 We're used to it, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, um, he had, we had an agreement, the principal and I, that he was not to bring it home because he wasn't doing homework. He was going on everything else. And I didn't want the responsibility. So they agreed. He was not allowed to bring it home. You want to work on stuff, you have a study hall, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. But... but he has no access at our house for anything, so. So it's been since Monday that he was able to get on his phone of any kind. That if that's the seventeenth, yes. Okay, it's Tuesday. So. Okay. Okay. So Tuesday. Okay. Because I just remember Monday was a concert. The seventeenth is written on the bag. The eighteenth was mm -hmm. my show. Thursday we got to see our granddaughter. Sorry, that that was a big thing. Um, and that's why I said he was even out there and he was pleasant. He, he came out. He's kind of like um, those kids that hide in their rooms and come, what are they called, hermits? You know, he'll, he'll hide in his room. He'll take his food to his room. He'll do everything in his room. I don't think he pees half the time. Seriously, I think he was peeing in bottles at times because when he would come out, there'd be water bottles and water bottles, you know? And when I went through the room, I found chips and cookies and wrappers and you know, he's come out and had stacks of cups. That's why I didn't want the game system anymore. And I do know that he was asking me at Christmas for a game system. I said, no. And I've never stood my ground. And that's what my mom and dad said. He's retaliating because I actually said no to him. You know? But, again, there was no problems. I, I, I have... If we had an argument, it would be a different story. Okay? It, it's just so hard. This isn't him. You said he didn't want to go to school. Was that a new thing, or has oh, he been no. fighting going to school? For He's a been while? fighting to go to school. Okay. Um, so not like maybe something happened at school that's new, and he doesn't want to go see someone. It's a common occurrence. <laughs> You're asking the wrong person because there's times where he said, "Oh, I don't feel good," and he would have the sugar shits. Excuse my term, but that's because he ate junk. He didn't eat. He don't eat fruits and vegetables, you know? He don't eat meat, he eats. Now I can give him veal, because veal looks like chicken patties, you know? So I was able to trick him ways like that, but no. Um, the doctor even gave him a note for him to be able to go to the bathroom whenever he wanted, because he was having problems with his bowels. Yeah. And that was November 10th. Um, but then I found out from the principal that there was a time that they found Harley hiding in the bathroom. Missed class, you know? So to me, the school knows more about 
how he was there and why he wouldn't go. You know, I don't know anybody other than, like I said, James. Oh, my God. James calls my phone 10, 15 times a day at the time, you know. And um, Junior and Daniel, well, I couldn't even get their mother to talk to me half the time, you know. She's had some shady people there, and I've told Harley, please don't go there anymore. Do you know when the last time he was there was? Apparently Thursday is what I was told. This Thursday before mm -hmm. you're in, okay. Where do they live in comparison to your house? Uh, they live on Madison? No, Monroe. My husband knows the address. He, he took the police over there. Um, How do you get to it from your house? Uh, I, I was standing in your driveway, standing in the alley next to your house. Okay, here's Fulton. Okay. You would continue, see it depends on how he would go. You could continue going straight up to Monroe and go left, or you can cut through and do cut behind the school and stuff. So it's walking distance. It, oh, every, yeah. He walked his girlfriends all the way over at uh, Perry's Glen. Is that what it's called? His ex-girlfriend, so. Would it be near, like I know where the hospital is and the school is. In okay, hospital, school. high school, and then a road right back here. Um, in fact, last night we called, or we, my husband came in because somebody contacted us about him hanging out at a brick house on Elma. And that was right around the corner from where James and Junior, or I keep saying James, Junior and, and um, Daniel are. So, and I've never heard of that house. Is it like an occupied house, empty house? It's or? occupied. There's so many you know who's. Elma. My husband has, he brought it into here um, for them to check it out since I never even knew who this lady was. There's so many people on Facebook claiming to be friends with Harley, I've never even heard their names. You know, so I don't know. Just everything we get, we turn in. I just. So, no, go ahead. Oh, I, you probably know this, or if you told the police department, is he on any kind of medication? No. Or not that he, okay. No, that was that's. The I wanted to ask. Yes, um, he used to be years ago and then he stopped <laughs> the whole reason he stopped going to 